Hey everybody, welcome to devlog number four. This is for our Aurora release, which we're onboarding closed alpha users for shortly. And if you're interested, be sure to subscribe to our Reddit. There's a skip the line post where you can sign up on that form and we'll get you into the closed alpha shortly. Um, this is our first early batch, so we'll still be onboarding more over the next month or so. And with the name Aurora, enjoy some of our new sky we've been working on, which you saw parts of in our previous devlog video. And it's pretty dark, of course, and that's because we've added some more environmental settings so that you can actually enable and disable the sun. And so there we now have some light, which is pretty nice, but hey, if you can add one sun, why not add, say, four suns, if you would like. And now, of course, that is pretty bright, but um, say we even wanted two suns, we give you the options to add more suns, if you'd like, as a developer. For the sake of this video, I'll just stick with one sun as well. And so what you might've noticed too is that the world we're building in is quite a bit bigger than what we've previously been working on. Uh, so we're slowly scaling this up as we make the engine, to make the platform more stable. Uh, when we're also working with Godot 4 Beta, so of course this is a very early stage cutting edge engine. So um, thank you much to the Godot team for all the hard work on this. Uh, we've also put in some PRs ourselves. We wanna make sure we contribute back to the engine and uh, thank you to the awesome community for your help with that too. So with that, because the world is a good bit bigger too, we've added a way that you can adjust the camera speed. So this is normal speed and I'm holding shift, so it is a bit faster. But say if I wanna get all the way to the top of this mountain, that's gonna take a sec. So if you look at the bottom left here, um, you'll notice that there's a scroll modifier, a speed modifier using the scroll wheel. And so let's say I wanna to go to 1300 miles, <laughs> 1300 meters a second. Uh, then this will allow us to move the camera much more quickly to modify the world that we're working on. And so I'll go ahead and put this a bit lower, but this allows you to start to build massive worlds and have the tools to do so, which we're, we're quite excited for. So another thing, uh, in addition to the mouse wheel speed there, let me help out and go back to build mode here, um, are hotkeys for creating. And so as I'll be working on this video, one thing you'll notice is that um, previously you had to select these top left selectors to change from like scale to rotation to translation. But now I can just do it via hotkey, just like Godot, just like you're used to, or just like Blender with your other tools. And so with that, that's a great segue into our newest feature, one of our newest features, which is materials. Uh, Godot 4 has some great materials capabilities. Uh, we've imported a good few. Thank you to some of the Creative Commons ones public on the internet. Uh, thank you to Ambient CG. And so now whenever you select an asset, you can go over here to material and then select the material that you'd like. We'll be cleaning up some of these thumbnails as well, but uh, this gives you a lot of different capabilities. One of my favorite is this right here, for example. Uh, so now this new material is applied and the lighting with the sun uh, is looking pretty good on these. And we hope that this can add a good degree of realism to, the, to your games. And then you can also, of course, import your own type of materials if you wish. And you can also override textures and colors still. You can even, for example, over here, I applied a material and then I imported an image, which I'm using for this rectangle here. Um, and that's looking pretty good in the light. So we'll be implementing a lot more materials shortly. As you can see, we only have a small handful right now, but many more are to come. And there's a lot of fun stuff we can play with. So just to give you an example of a few more here, um, let's say I wanna make this uh, a bit more shiny, then I can do that if I wish, or excuse me, a bit um, metallic, rusty. We want to do more shiny. Um, that's also an option. We want to do this. Um, definitely play with it. Uh, well, that's pretty cool as well. Uh, we we want to make sure that you have a ton of options. And in a future video, we'll give you ways that you can sort through these as we onboard, excuse me, as we add a lot more materials to the system. So this is definitely a huge improvement on the graphics capability. And also as you work with this a bit, you'll notice that whenever you import models, and this is true for any game platform or any game engine, any 3D modeling tool, sometimes the center of the mesh is actually different than what appears to be the center of the object. Now that may be your intention, which is totally fine, but we wanna give you the option for that. And so we created a new feature such that we can go down on properties here and click center model. And this will set the offset of that mesh to the center. And so this is much easier. Like if I just wanted to rotate uh, this axis here on the center of the sphere, rather than worrying about um, the offset, because otherwise of course, 
I'm rotating it like this, which could be quite a pain whenever I'm trying to model something, but um, that may be preferred depending on the model, which is totally fine. We wanna give you the option to do so as you wish. So with that too, uh, we've also added a right-click menu for in-world. So now we can focus on an object by right-clicking on it. So let's head over here to this other array of example materials that I created. And with that, you can focus, you can hop into properties of the object. Um, you'll see that scripting is coming in the future, but for this video, I'm gonna show you what it looks like whenever we enable physics for an object. And so, oh, there we go, there's that. Um, if I wanna enable on more of these, um, that is a bug there that should be a, should be just clicking on those individually, but uh, hey, that's the point of an early alpha. We'll be working through some of these bugs here. Um, and I love the physics side of these because now you can start to see what it looks like as we rotate that in the light. Um, you can see that these materials are looking absolutely fantastic. So again, thank you to our team. Thank you to Ambient CG for some of these base materials we've added. We'll be adding more in the future. We hope that this can provide a great de degree of realism to our um, to the worlds that you create, to the games you create. Uh, so got some good, exciting stuff in store. And um, as always, we'd love to hear your feedback on anything we've been implementing, anything you'd like to see, and then we'll be onboarding more users into our Aurora Alpha shortly. So with that, thank you so much for your time, and I hope to see you in the mirror. Take care.